Hypokalemia-induced arrhythmia Hypokalemia-induced arrhythmia A life-threatening arrhythmia caused by hypokalemia Potassium is the most abundant intracellular cation and is necessary for maintaining a normal charge. Difference between intracellular and extracellular space. The normal level of plasma potassium is 3.8 to 5.1 mmol, L. The deviations to both extremes are related to the risk of cardiac arrhythmias. Potassium homeostasis is important for normal cellular function and is regulated by ion exchange. Pumps, primarily, cellular, membrane-bound, sodium-potassium atpase pumps. Derangements of potassium regulation often lead to neuromuscular, gastrointestinal, and cardiac rhythm. Abnormalities Types of arrhythmia in hypokalemia Premature ventricular contractions, ventricular fibrillation, supraventricular tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, torsade de points. Types of electrocardiographic, ECG, features of hypokalemia, QT interval prolongation, widespread, St. Depression, T wave inversion, prominent U waves. Treatment, it depends on its severity and etiology. Serum potassium may not accurately reflect. Total body stores. Nothing. For transient, asymptomatic, or mild case. It may spontaneously. Resolve. Oral potassium supplementation. For transient, asymptomatic, or mild case. It is. Preferred and safer. Intravenous potassium solution for symptomatic or severe case. Long-term treatment should be based on the recognition of the hypokalemia cause. Oral drugs leading to increases of potassium levels, potassium-sparing diuretics, e.g. spironolactone, amylaride, angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors, for hypertension and heart failure. Potassium. Chloride tablets.